Hey boys, I'm back. Kota Kruger here, bringing you some more AW commentary live. Damn. Let's do this. In today's commentary, I wanted to talk about what it's like riding in Connecticut, how it's made me grow as a person, how it's improved my riding, if it has, and what I've really gotten from it. Well, riding in Connecticut in the beginning, it was really fun because, like I said, when we were young, we would just session a spot, whether it's a curb or a little bang, or we would just make boxes and jumps and dirt jumps, and it was the greatest thing in the world. We used to have this uh, indoor skate park that was only 30 minutes away from Adam and I, and his mother and my parents used to bring us it's called Haven Skate Park and that place really was the start of Adam and I riding we would go there on the weekends and just session for four or five hours and even though we weren't really good there was a lot of people that were really good at that skate park that we could kind of lean on and learn from so Haven really helped us grow as as riders and it's really difficult to ride in Connecticut in the winter there's no indoor skate parks that, that was that was the last remaining indoor skate park besides another one in uh, Danbury which is 40 minutes away also but um one winter Haven uh, Haven's roof collapsed and that was pretty much the end of that Adam and I were pretty upset a lot of people we knew went to Haven and we really didn't get to see a lot of those people quite often so when we went it was really nice and after that after it closed down I would say that the Connecticut scene kind of depleted in a way but moving on Adam and I after Haven closed we found the nearest indoor skate park which is in Danbury Connecticut it was called vertigo and that place was a boatload of fun Adam and I were not so good but we were better than when we went to Haven and all I can remember from that park is it was just tiny compact but it was just such a good time it was so slippery it hurt but it was just the last remaining indoor skate park in Connecticut and it's sad to say that that one also closed down so with all these skate parks closing the Connecticut scene kind of have died down no one really knew where to go from there uh, I now have to drive two and a half to three hours away to Skaters Edge which is in Massachusetts or Rye Airfield which is in New Hampshire that's uh, my nearest skate park now so you can see why it's so difficult to ride in Connecticut in the winter time while in the summertime Connecticut Connecticut offers some good street spots and some good outdoor skate parks but not as good as other states obviously like Colorado probably has a billion skate parks. I know California has so many. Florida. And Connecticut not having a lot of skate parks definitely hurts the scene a lot. I think it's just really difficult to get through people's heads to show them that BMX is an important asset and BMX could allow many people to come into Connecticut and actually give the towns people business and all the stores business. I know this was really difficult when Adam and I wanted to get a skate park in our town, which we finally managed to do, but the outcome of that skate park really wasn't what we wanted. It They kind of went behind our backs and built this little disgusting skate park that we make fun of calling it the penny board park. It's literally so tiny. They literally could have done so much better with their money, but they didn't listen to us. They were just ignorant and, I don't know, it just sucks. We could have had a really nice skate park. It could have brought a lot of business. It could have gotten a lot of kids into riding. And now it's just prefab. It's just, it's just one big section, or not even a big section. It's just one small section of ramps, and it's just so small. It doesn't even tend to the skateboarders that ride it. But before, before everything, Adam and I used to ride Bethel Ramps racetrack that's really where I kind of got the first taste of what it was like to ride jumps and actually get some air and to pump around and kind of get a feeling of what it's like to ride my bike without actually riding my bike it's just it gave me that feeling of what else I could do on my bike that there's just more than just pedaling around town and just bunny hopping curves that there's many other assets that BMX can give to you there's street riding there's park there's dirt jumps and and after Bethel, Adam and I just started building dirt jumps wherever we could. We built some dirt jumps in the back of his mom's house, which she happily, well, not, I wouldn't say happily, but she willingly gave up her back.
backyard, allowing us to build some jumps and have some fun, and I thank her for that. And after not wanting to go to Adam's house so much, I built this little dirt jump in my backyard, and it wasn't the best, I gotta admit. I wasn't I wasn't the best at building dirt jumps, but it kind of worked, I guess. From Adam's mom's house, we went and we built some dirt jumps that were at his dad's house, and those were really nice dirt jumps. Adam and I really worked hard to build those dirt jumps. We would ride there quite often, and people just really didn't respect those dirt jumps. Adam and I would go every other weekend, and something would be wrong with the dirt jumps. Someone would destroy them, or like kick them down, or ride dirt bikes on them, and it just got really difficult to maintain the dirt jumps. So from there, we really just stopped making dirt jumps, and we just started going to the indoor skate parks like I talked about. And soon after, all these skate parks closed. It became spring, and Newtown, Connecticut, which is 20 minutes away from me, started organizing donations to build a skate park in their town, which is now my local skate park besides the one in my town, which I never ride. And that really helped the scene a lot for at least Adam and I. Adam and I just got so much better having that skate park there, and it's just so amazing. I ride there every day, and I really appreciate all those people who got together and petitioned to get a skate park. Connecticut really isn't the best state to ride in, but when you really don't have a choice on where you ride and what you ride and where you live, you kind of have to make it work, and that's what Adam and I did, and that's what I'm still doing now. So just, if you're in a state and you really don't have a skate park near you and you just have a group of friends, maybe you don't even have friends, just try to make it work because soon you'll be 18, you'll be able to get a car, you'll be able to go wherever you want, and just have fun with it while you can. Build dirt jumps. That's easy. You don't even need you don't even need wood. You don't even need screws. You don't need any anything but yourself and a shovel. And you can literally have the most fun on the smallest thing. I had this little dirt jump in my backyard and it literally transformed into so much more. It was First a dirt jump, then it was a dirt jump to a picnic table, which I first learned bar spins off of, and it just was so much fun, so don't give up just because you are in a crummy place and it's cold and the weather's crummy and you just feel like all hope is lost. It isn't. It isn't. There's people out there that have worse stuff, so just stick with it. If you truly love BMX, you'll stick with it, and... All in all, Connecticut really isn't the best place to ride, but we make it work. I make it work. It's crummy in the winter, and that's really why it's so difficult to make a lot of riding videos. But, you know, when I feel the ambition to go ride skate parks, go on a three-hour drive, I get up and go, or I bear the cold weather like today. It was 12 degrees outside, went out, threw some oppo bars, got some, didn't get some. But, you know, if you have ambition, if you truly love to ride your bike, no matter what, no matter where where you live no matter what the weather if you have a group of friends to ride with if you don't you're just gonna ride you, we just all do it for the same reason just because we love that feeling we love riding our bike we love how it allows us to express our creativity and it kind of gives us that freedom and even though Connecticut really isn't the best place I've grown from it I've learned from it I've just become a better rider from not being in the best place riding wise I kind of respect other places for what they have like California they have a surplus of skate parks and a surplus of pros and same with Florida and I kind of look at those places with a uh, with more of a respect and maybe if I wasn't from Connecticut I wouldn't respect those places and I wouldn't see how hard those scenes work to stay strong but uh, that's the end of the gameplay guys I really hope you enjoyed my rant subscribe and like if you like this video as always I'm Cody Kruger and stay frothing my friends